Today on Thursday, October 20th, the Ohio Supreme Court has made a ruling in regards to the class action lawsuit brought about against Cedar Fair. Now, in case you're not completely familiar with this case, Cedar Fair a couple years ago was sued by some pass holders as a, a, a class action lawsuit that said that they had a breach of contract. Cedar Point did not open until maybe like a month and a half or like a couple months after they normally do in the 2020 season because of COVID. Now, other Cedar Fair parks, some didn't open at all. Knott's Berry Farm, um, I believe uh, Carowinds and maybe King's Dominion only opened for like a, like a short little winter fest or something. They weren't open the entire season. The lawsuit was about a breach of contract. And they said that Cedar Point and Cedar Fair did not live up to their end of the contract. Therefore, they're uh, owed back some or all of the money that they paid into 2020 season. Now, what Cedar Fair lawyers argued is that Cedar Fair offered an extension of the passes. Any passes or any add-ons for 2020 were good for the 2021 season, so they felt like that made everything whole and good, and that was their way of getting out of giving any refunds. Now, my personal opinion before I get into anything else, I feel like Cedar Fair as a whole should have offered either or. I feel like they should have offered either a refund if people felt like, okay, you know what, I bought passes for 2020 and I can't really use them or I'm not comfortable using them or for whatever reason and I can't go 2021 or I don't want to go 2021 or anything like that, just give me my money back. I felt like that was an appropriate option. Either that or extend until through the 2021 season. Now, I think most people would have chosen hey, I get my passes for 2020 while they're open and I get to use them for 2021. I think most people would have went that route, but Cedar Fair didn't even give an option. So about four months ago, the Ohio Supreme Court heard this case and I watched a bit of this online and I saw what each person's argument was. The plaintiffs, their argument, like I said, breach of contract, they paid for a 2020 season pass and the season is usually open from like middle of May until the end of October. And it wasn't, so they're owed at least a partial refund because of that. Their case was pretty cut and dry. Now, Cedar Fair's lawyers, what they argued on top of the fact that they said that, okay, everyone got 2021 for free, they argued that it's not a breach of contract because the contract is only for you to get a pass. So whenever you enter into the contract and Cedar Fair gives you a gold pass, a platinum pass, whatever pass that you're buying, once they give you that, then the contract is met. Now, coming to the park, they refer to that as a revocable license. Now, what this means is that they, they can they fulfilled their end of the bargain just by giving you the pass. Getting into the park, that's not guaranteed. So they can have any sort of season that they want. If they have a season of two weeks, then that's their season. If they have a season of 365 days a year, that's their season. They get to choose what their season is and they a revocable license they can change it and do whatever they want or revocable take take that right away from you to use that pass at any time and that's perfectly within their rights i have to be honest this sat the wrong way with me i did not like the fact that they argued that because i mean i know cedar point and cedar fair as a whole i know they're not going to say, okay, we only have a two-week operating schedule. I know just because that doesn't benefit them at all. But just the fact that they say that that can be deemed a complete season, if that's what they say, that really bothers me. And another thing that bothers me is the fact that the passes for 2023 have gone up $50 each, at least the platinum passes. Whenever I renewed, 
instead of the renewal of being like $190 or whatever, it was $240. So that quote unquote free year of 2021 is, isn't going to be free after a couple years of paying for these inflated prices that they're, they're charging now. So that's another thing that made me kind of like, Hey, you know what? This lawsuit is still dangling. Uh, the Ohio Supreme court at that point hadn't made their decision yet. So I was kind of, kind of angry with Cedar Fair and, you know, thinking it kind of served them right. If the, if the lawsuit got, um, found in the plaintiff's favor and they had a, uh, they had to refund some money to any uh, pass holder. But like I said at the beginning of this video, a decision was reached today and the Ohio Supreme Court unanimously found that Cedar Fair does not have to pay any refunds or anything like that, any damages for the pandemic shortened season. What the Ohio Supreme Court is saying is that the government mandated the shutdown so it wasn't in Cedar Fair's control and therefore they aren't responsible, which I mean, I do agree with that. I mean, it was, it was a shutdown and it was something that had to happen and something that happened and it wasn't Cedar points or Cedar fair's fault that all this happened. But I also get the argument from the plaintiffs saying that it doesn't matter. I mean, if you buy something and then something happens where the, where the seller can't give you the product, then there's no sale. So I'm not completely sure how I feel about this, but it doesn't matter how I feel about this because the Supreme Court has ruled. So that is the final say. This isn't going to go to the Supreme Court of the United States. It's going to stop right here. So this is it. The lawsuit is officially over. Cedar Fair does not have to pay any money back to any of the pass holders for the 2020 season. So that's the video. I figured I'd get this information out to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please comment and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. So thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and we'll see you guys next time on Beachcliff Studios.